So you are in East Tennessee and you've got a music school right here. I it's do. it's in yeah. North Knoxville? It is in Fountain City, yeah. Fountain City area. Mm -hmm. LaGrand Music Studios. Yeah. We've got How far are you from those ducks? So we're the ducks do not come near us. They don't. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Because I've, the, I've seen them in the yeah. Kroger parking lot. They yeah. get around yeah. those ducks. We, we're actually located inside the Fountain City Art Center, okay. right inside the park there, Fountain City Park. And uh, and I just picked up that you said they traveled to Kroger. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, they don't come. They haven't come to us. Yeah. So, uh, but we 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 are in the art center and love that community aspect of the school. We 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 do a lot with the art center. It's actually a place where we play. There's, it's a big yeah. venue. We pull out chair or theater chairs and um, and do things there. Um, we've got about eight or nine teachers, and they're all ex very skilled. They're all performers. Um, that's part of our requirement. Mm -hmm. And um, and very happy. Um, had a lot of growth in the last few years and. And all, uh, I think all the instructors are just wonderful. It's a good team, um, and and it's it's just a good environment. So, so tell me a little bit about some of your solo playing because you guys do on today's show. You do some some duet numbers, mm -hmm. and then you you do a solo number. Is it easy to switch back and forth between that, or do you also feel a little more nervous playing solo because you can't lean on Jackie to, you know, yeah, sing that's or? A I haven't thought about that. I just um, made you nervous. Yeah, you, you did. <laughs> um, the, uh, no, actually, it takes a different energy from within me to play solo. Uh, when I play with Jackie, there's an energy that's shared. You know, we play and bounce off each other. And, hey, that was cool. And you could look, you know, we could look at each other and say, hey, I like that, you know, and just store it. When I play solo, I can't take my mind off what I'm doing. And, um, and that's just a concentration thing. Um, and that's a relationship with, with me and, and my guitar. And um, so it's, it's very different. Um, for me. Now, for other folks, it may not be, but for me, it's definitely different. I'm just thinking about Cajun food when I'm playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the nice thing about playing a folk guitar is yeah. you don't have to really think or, right. or pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. And neither does the audience I notice yeah. when I play. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about the guitar itself? I, I'm more of, a, of the folk style guitar yeah. playing, yeah. and you're more the classical. It's, it's a shorter scale, right? Typically? It is. It's a 650, 650 yeah. scale, scale length, which is uh, standard for classical. Um, and that is a, that's a Francesco Navarro classical guitar. Francesco is a, a, a luthier from Paracho, Mexico. And um, he makes fine instruments, sells them worldwide. Um, and several of uh, my students have them and then several people that I play with and actually some other instructors here in town that are classical guitarists, they play with Francesco Navarro's. <laughs>